Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about pulling all-nighters as a software developer. So I am out for an evening walk. It's a bit later than I normally go out, but it's just been a hectic week. You know, the weekend was busy. You know, the beginning of the week was busy. I've got several projects on. I've got a contract I'm working on, uh, lots of stuff going on. And I just been spending a lot of time sitting in that desk chair. So I had to get out. So on Sunday, for an example, I worked on Saturday, but I didn't work the whole day on Saturday, but a lot of it. And on Sunday, I realized I have this deadline coming up. My developers, I had a developer working on it, but my developer went a bit flaky, like we talked about, you know, when you get freelancers and went missing. So I thought I got to finish this up myself. And so I, I got up early on Sunday morning and I just went straight to the, straight to the computer and just sat down and started getting into this project. Just, you know, next thing you know, it's two o'clock. I'm still in my pajamas, two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still in my pajamas. You know, so I quickly get dressed, sit back down at the computer, because while I'm in the shower, I'm thinking about the code, whatever, right? And then I work all the way through until about nine o'clock till I realize I haven't had anything to eat, so I cook something for myself and for my son. And then I sit down and I think, I'm just gonna unwind to watch a movie. And I watch like maybe 30 minutes of some dumb movie. Um, it's Project Power, I, it was okay, I guess, but I, I watched about 30 minutes of it and then I just thought, I need to get back to that code. So then I went and sat back down and started coding a little bit, but I realized I need to get up early so I can finish this tomorrow. And in the end, I was up until three o'clock in the morning. I was up till three o'clock in the morning working on this thing because I was making such great progress and I didn't want to stop. You know, as software developers, you know what it's like, you're stuck in the code and you do not mess with a good streak. We have so many days where we're constantly interrupted or the code is not working the way that it should or, and I know this is nothing metaphysical, but there are days where it feels like the gods of software development are punishing me for something because my laptop runs out of battery and then we run out of disk space and then there's network issues and then, you know, and the code is not working the way that it should. And, I'm, you know, and it just, and then there's constant distractions. And then there's times when everything just flows. And that's what it was like on Sunday. I was on a streak, so I pulled an all nighter and got far more done than it would have taken my developers to do probably over over a few days. It, it, probably me over a few days if I did it during the daytime where I'm constantly interrupted or I've got a bunch of other stuff on or it's competing with other things. The nice thing about the middle of the night is the middle of the night, that, that sleep that you trade in is not competing with anything else. So it was actually pretty good. And the only reason I stopped, well, first of all, it was nearly complete. But then I guess, you know, working in the middle of the night, if you have a dependency on other developers, which I had this API, the company of this API that I'm connecting with, you know, it was like, why is that not working the way that it should? Or I'm not getting the response back that they said I would. So now I got to confer with them. And then I went to bed and Monday, all day Monday, I was pretty much a zombie. And you could say, I mean, you have that logic where you think, I traded Sunday night for Monday, I had a terrible Monday but it was totally worth it, a totally good trade. That deep work, that time to concentrate is something I really needed. In fact, there have been many times in the course of my career with Overpass and with other companies that they had, projects had to result in all-nighters. Sometimes I've been able to take a project that's just really in trouble and turn it around in a few days, right? Project that is like, I've had developer, I mean, seriously, I had a project that was the developers had bugs in it and like it was i had another developer do it and in the end i rewrote the entire thing from corona which is a, a language we shouldn't have used i rewrote it over the course of two nights like in the middle of the night in ionic really quickly and the clients loved it but i try not to do it too often because i'm sure it's not healthy 
So if you're a software developer, you know what this is like. You know what it's like to get stuck in the code and the and hours pass, they feel like minutes, you're in the zone, you're getting things done, you know, you're just plowing straight through. But when somebody forces you to do it, like I've worked in investment banks where we've had to pull all nighters working till like, you know, you know, get there at eight o'clock in the morning for a normal work day. You don't leave until seven or eight o'clock the next morning because something went wrong with the release or something's behind and the manager says, we're gonna, we're, you know, we're gonna not gonna leave till it's done. And that sucks. I mean, that sucks when you do it. A lot of times when I work in investment banks and people say, oh, I pulled an all-nighter last night. It's kind of a macho thing, which I really resented, right? It, basically what it was was a result of bad planning, right? And I suppose you could say that me working an all-nighter on Sunday night was a result of bad planning. But like I said, it was totally worth it. My question to you guys is... How often do you guys pull all-nighters? Do you, and when do you like to work? When is your best coding hours? For me, I think it's the morning, not the three o'clock in the morning. I mean like morning, morning, like after you wake up, have a cup of coffee morning. Uh, but you know, I might start going for the middle of the night. That's, that was kind of cool. But when do you do it? Do you like to do it in the middle of the night? Do you like to do it in the morning? Do you like to do it, if you have another job, do you do it before work or after work? I'd be really interested to know that. Anyway, that's just my thoughts for today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I'll talk to you again next time.